terrifying experience sneaking into Playland Amusement Park at 1 a.m. I am writing these lines during the first days of October of the year 2022. I'm a first time poster here, so bear with me. When two of my friends and I were juniors, at Sunny Purchase College back in the year 2018, we decided to sneak into Playland Park in Rye, New York. One of the friends of mine grew up in Rye and had done it many times before. So, while I was nervous about getting arrested for trespassing, I felt a little bit reassured that the park wasn't very well monitored at night. At around 1 a.m. we drove and parked our car next to a large fence and we attempted to scale it. You know, we tried to climb it. It was rather difficult and required us to step onto each other's hands to go over it, which gave me intense anxiety about how we were planning to get all the three of us back over the fence on the way out. After both my friends got over the fence, I attempted to chicken out and wait in the car, but I finally decided to join, and after several minutes of struggling, I made it over the fence on my own, and we began walking while lighting up a joint. It was pitch black at this point, and almost all the lights in the park were off. We approached the water flume right, which went about... 100 to 150 feet long and then drop into a steep slope all that is roughly 50 meters for the non-americans listening to this along the side of the ride was a staircase for technicians and employees which my friends decided to climb for a better view at this point i chickened out and i decided to stay at the bottom out of fear of heights as they ascended the stairs, I looked out across the park and I noticed something very strange. We weren't alone in the park. Several hundred feet from us was a pond with what appeared to be a small boat or raft inside and four or so people riding inside it with flashlights attached to their heads. What was even stranger was the fact that there were two dark figures swimming in the pond looking for something underneath the water. I could barely make out the silhouettes of these figures, but after a few minutes, I noticed that they could see us, and I began mobilizing the boat in our direction. I frantically started whisper screaming to my friends, who were all the way at the top of the water right and could barely hear me. At this point, the boat had reached land, and the little lights on their helmets were heading in our direction fast. My friends finally raced down the stairs and we began sprinting as fast as we could down a boardwalk that was dimly lit and back towards the way we came. As we sprinted down the long straight boardwalk, I realized that we were completely visible and we started to accept the reality of being caught or arrested. We somehow rounded a corner, we got back to the fence and climbed over safely hopping into our car and dipping immediately. I couldn't believe we didn't get caught, as the figures chasing after us were no more than a few hundred feet away when they spotted us. Still to this day, I wonder why the hell there were people swimming around in a pond in an amusement park at 1.30 a.m. My friend had told me that kids had drowned in that pond before, making me wonder if they were searching for a body. I googled any article I could find to no avail. Me and my two friends are still totally puzzled by this experience and we can't think of a very logical explanation. Just thinking about it right now gives me chills.